Hello guys, welcome back. Today I'm bringing you a build order for Age of Empires 4. This one is for the Rus. So uh, this build order is a double stable knight build order. So we're looking at a, a Rus knight rush with this one. And uh, first thing you do is send five starting villagers to sheep. One goes over to make a hunting cabin, a house and a lumber camp. And I'm going to send six new villagers on sheep as well. So we're going to end up with rather a lot of villagers on the sheep there. We're going to end up with 11. And once we've got those, uh, we do... Uh, just start adding a few more to wood so i've got the build order on the screen for you just so you can follow along as we uh, watch this demonstration and uh, also you know just gives you the opportunity to make some notes uh, as we go through as well so uh, not a huge amount happening at the moment so uh, once your hunting cabin is up do create another scout uh, you can go for two scouts i tend to prefer to just go for the one uh, initially and then add some more as we go up uh, to the feudal age so just keep going around try and get some sheep because you, you are as I say pretty sheep heavy at the moment we're gonna have 11 on uh, sheep so really important that we do find those your first scout that will come out will go over to towards the enemy base try and find out where the enemy uh, deer patches are so that we can use the scout to uh, get that bounty income uh, which gives us uh, plus 10 gold for each deer that is killed and it just sort of accumulate into tiers there for uh, different bonuses so um, tier one for example you get five percent uh, uh, food villager gather eight and uh, hunting cabins generate gold a little bit quicker so uh, yeah just keep going around uh, we've nearly got the uh, 11 villages on the sheep after that we're going to go for another uh, five villages over to wood, so we'll end up with a total of six on wood. As you can see, we're just uh, killing off those deer. That one should be scouting or doing something. We just need to find those deer for the enemy and get them killed off. Now, um, obviously, a lot of players nowadays they they know the trick. They know what's that come in with the Rus that they're going to come down and try and kill all your deer. So it's really important that you do take out the wolves if you do find any wolves because they will actually give you 25 gold. So um, the deers are only 10. So if you can find the wolves, kill the wolves off. Um, if your opponent's killed all his deer, then it will really help uh, going forward. So um, just going to keep sending more villages over to wood now. So we do need to get to that total of six on wood. And then uh, probably around the three minute mark, we should be looking at uh, building the landmark, which uh, we're actually going to be using the Golden Gate with this one. So I quite often use the Kremlin, but we're going to use the Golden Gate. And that's purely because um, you get 150 gold for selling 150 resources. Uh, sorry, selling 100 resources. So you can make quite a bit off uh, selling some wood. That'll just really help towards maintaining that double night uh, stable production. On your way up uh, to the field age, you probably want to add a couple more uh, scouts as well because we are going to be looking at getting the uh, professional scouts uh, technology, which means that you can uh, actually go and gup the deer and bring them back to your own base. We are going to be trying to steal all the deer from the enemy as much as we can. So we do want to be getting that one. So I've just got one more to come out onto the wood. Once we've got the one from there onto the wood, we're going to go uh, four over to gold. And that's just to give us a little bit of extra gold income so we're not having to rely too much on the golden gate uh, because you can only sell stuff, uh, I think it's like every minute. So um, we'll need a little bit of gold income as well as any extra sort of deer and things that we can kill off. Uh, obviously against the AI, we're quite lucky we're able to kill off all these deer but that's why i said it's really important that you do take the uh, wolves if you can so you're yeah, just going to get those four over to there let's uh, just fast forward a little bit whilst well, that's happening and um, we should hit the food age around five minutes roughly i think it's five minutes and three with this one we're going to send one of those builders back to food and then another two are going to drop down to stable straight away now we're going to have a slight delay before we can afford professional scouts just because we're short on wood a little bit uh, but i think only have to wait about 30 seconds so we've got enough wood uh, but now we've got the four on gold all new villages pretty much going to go over to food for the time being we're going to send another uh, seven onto food so we're going to end up for, with 18 on food and then once we've got the 18 on food we're going to add another four to gold and then that's 
pretty much the, the main bit of the build done. We should be in a stage there where we can uh, keep maintaining night production and uh, keep growing the economy. Now the good thing with this one, because we're quite heavy on wood, uh, we can actually uh, quite easily make a, a little switch into adding either a barracks or an archery range just to counter whatever the enemy are, are sort of throwing at you. So um, really good in that respect. You will want to get one of the wooden fortresses on your wood line as well. They do cost 175 wood though, uh, but it just give you quite a good economy boost uh, because uh, villagers dropping off the resources will be uh, dropping off more than uh, 10, I think it's like an extra 20% is it? Yeah, 20% more wood will be dropped off, so really good. Now, this strategy is quite a good one. I've had um, quite a lot of success with it. Uh, probably, I think, four wins out of five so far. Uh, or four wins out of six because I've just lost one actually um, so um, it is quite good it's quite strong I've got a decent enough uh, win rate with it um, but the problem with it is is just that the knights take quite a long time to actually produce they actually take 35 seconds now if you compare that to the horseman that takes 22 seconds uh, there is quite a big difference there so uh, you know they are a lot tankier though than the horsemen obviously and uh, still uh, struggle against the spearmen but uh, not quite as uh, as vulnerable to spearmen as the horsemen are so that's why i said it's a good idea to add either an archery range or a barracks when you can you see we've got enough wood at this point where we could do that uh, just start uh, being able to protect those knights so probably say once you get about four knights go and try and raid the gold or you know, just try and be annoying with the knights and uh, raid the economy as you can see we're, we're picking up those deer from the enemy uh, from this deer patch then we'll move over onto that one uh, so you may even want to add a few more scouts if you can as you can see we're at 18 on food now so we are going to start sending a load more over to gold another four over to gold and uh, meanwhile we're just going on the little raid so let's speed it up see what happens as you can see we're able to get in on the enemy base pick off economy uh, again this is this is against the hardest ai so it's uh, a little bit trickier against a human opponent but as you can see pretty good pretty good i mean there's not really much of a defense here <laughs> to be fair from the ai they're just booming uh but i have beat french uh i actually have the most success with this build against the french which is quite interesting. I think it's just because the knights can um, support each other and uh, it's, as I said it's quite easy just to add a barracks and uh, start producing some spearmen. So that's normally what I do. I normally uh, add a barracks, um, eventually get a few uh, villagers onto stone, uh, get onto the castle age and then start dropping a few keeps on the enemy base. So uh, generally how I win the games against the French with this build order. Uh, so that is it. Thank you very much for watching. Do remember to subscribe and also like the video uh, if you want to see more Age of Empires 4 build orders and Age of Empires 4 content. So cheers.